Hello, welcome to Mama's Basement TV. Uh, my name is Max, if you're new here. Uh, thank you for coming and joining in on my uh, playthroughs. Uh, this is gonna be about an hour and a half to two hours of me doing my best at this game that you guys voted on. Um, if you didn't get a chance to vote and want to in the future, uh, you can always follow me at Mom's Basement TV on Instagram, Mom's Basement TV on Twitter. Uh, you can find my Facebook page at Mom's Basement TV. Um, and you can go to YouTube to watch the archives of these videos at uh, the channel Mom's Basement TV. You do have to search for that one because uh, I don't have enough viewers to be able to make a direct URL yet. Hopefully, eventually, that will be the case. Um, Today is what I call a weekend rental, where I throw out a few games that I have to choose from, and you guys get to vote on which game I play. Uh, I'm going to start doing those as uh, specific consoles. So this one was Game Boy specifically. Game Boy and Game Boy Color, I guess. Um, so I'm playing it, as you can hopefully see uh, here, uh, uh, on the Super Game Boy for the Super Nintendo. Um, which is a really cool accessory if you're not aware that lets you play Game Boy games on your Super Nintendo console. Um, so we're going to get through that. We're going to uh, start here in just a second. Mega Man Extreme is a game that I've never played before, so I'm excited to see how difficult it is compared to other Mega Man games. Um, it is a game that has a lot of the same elements that Mega Man X and Mega Man X2 have that are kind of combined, so some of the bosses are the same. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it's just as difficult as every other freaking Mega Man game I've played. Um, if you have any questions or uh, comments, feel free to throw them in the chat. I do have that up on a TV screen next to my TV where I'm playing games, so I'll be able to see that. And if you have any suggestions or um, uh, preferences with the audio levels, feel free to let me know that too. I'm actually going to turn up the audio of the game a little bit. Um, but let me know if that's too high or too low, and uh, we'll go from there. So, welcome again. Thanks for coming. Joining me on this quest to play Mega Man Extreme for the Game Boy Color. Um, let's get moving. Uh, actually, as you can see, before I, I begin, uh, I mentioned in my last stream, but uh, I'll mention again this awesome art that I have up here, both of Mega Man and Proto Man. Um, and it's done by a guy named Andrew Heath. Uh, he has a website. Let me see if it's up here. Yeah, andrew-heath.com. Um, I bought these from him, so it's not like some plug for a thing that was given to me. Uh, but I really, really like them. They're, they're some really awesome art that I was able to get for this uh, part of my room here. So the, here's a story. In the year 21 XDX, the world has become a place where... The human race coexists with reptoids. Many years ago, a mysterious, this is slow, blue robot was found, clearly Mega Man, named Mega Man X. This robot, I'm going to skip all this, maybe it'll give us some story, in the game, um, so game start. I could do hard mode, extreme, or continue. Uh, continue's not going to do anything for me because I haven't played this. That would be someone else's game. Let's see what options there are, though. I wonder. I can change the button configuration. It's actually attack and jump, or just B and A. That's fine. I have jump over here. Uh, cool. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. Where am I now? Hmm. Oh, the jump. Actually, I am going to need to, there we go, change the controls here. But this is, so the, what I'm changing right now are the controls for the Super Game Boy. Um, so now, A, these are both A and this is B. Let's see if that works. Okay. 
There we go. That's what I wanted. So this game already has a charge right from the start. That's good to realize. And you can see this uh, level is definitely a lot like, whoa, a lot like the Mega Man X uh, first level. This place is familiar. Why am I here? Yeah, it is familiar for sure. Gosh, I love Game Boy games. So, uh, as we're starting this off, a little bit of history for me and the Game Boy. I haven't really talked much about um, my history with the Game Boy. My, uh, my first Game Boy was the original giant gray one that the, the screen is currently modeled after. Holy crap, this is tough and there's a lot of slowdown already. Whoa, that was super weird. I wonder if some of the weird cutting uh, and, and like breaking of the of the visuals is because it's playing in the Super Game Boy, or if it would look like that regardless. But um, I guess it's hard for me to know because I haven't played this on the regular Game Boy. Anyway, so uh, my first Game Boy was the original gray, big fat Game Boy. Um, it was, I think, originally given to my brothers though. Um, but I pretty quickly took that thing over. I played a lot of different games on it. Um, it was the first console, or that was the uh, the first one where, okay, it is just a tear. Um, I played, you know, Pokemon Red and Blue on it. I played a lot of Side Pocket, which was one of the options for today's weekend rental that you guys did not choose. Um, I feel like there's probably secrets down here, right? Oh, shit, maybe not. All right, good, good. That's, I got greedy. It's a good start. That's okay. We'll try this again. So, uh, let's see. What other... So, a lot of different Game Boy games that I played a lot of. One of my favorites that I, I hope to play on my, uh, my stream... Hey, what's up, Jacob? Um, thanks for coming in and watching. I uh, hope I don't embarrass you too much with my awful gameplay. Um, but... Uh, one of the first, or one of my favorite games for the Game Boy that I hope to play in my series that is upcoming called Drunky Kong Country is Donkey Kong Land um, for the Game Boy. It's, it's really, really great. I love that game so much. It, it captured a lot of what made the Donkey Kong Country games really great and turned them into an awesome portable experience. Um, certainly the graphics aren't as good as Donkey Kong Country. But um, it's definitely, definitely one of my favorite games uh, for the system, for, for the Game Boy. Um, Vava. Why are you? It can't be. I crushed you. Okay, we'll try again. I wonder if uh, I can actually beat him this time, unlike the Mega Man X. Oh, shit. Seems like probably no. Oh, maybe. Interesting. Um, so, uh, let's see. Donkey Kong Land. Um, so, the Mega Man games, even though Mega Man was a really, really uh, big thing for me. Yeah, Donkey Kong 2018. It's going to be really good, Jacob. Um, Zero, you must tell me. Tell me what's going on. Now we see terrible confusion all over the world. Someone broke into the mother computer system of the Hunter base and set its data to sabotage the world order. Who is doing this? I won't allow anyone to disturb the peace we have tried hard to maintain. Uh, they're reproducing the fighting data of the past. X, your data is contained in the past data in the mother computer. Whoa. And the one who brought you back from the data world is... Hi, I'm Mitty. Mitty is the greatest computer genius in the world. No one can match him. He will work with us to solve this case. What a weird premise. And a character... Mitty is a character I've never seen before. Is he in any other games, I wonder? Nice to meet you too. We're gonna work together to restore peace. So, um, the Mega Man games, uh, this being one of them, but there are a lot of Mega Man games um, on the Game Boy. There are, let's see, 
I think, I can't remember, it's five or six proper Mega Man. So it's Mega Man, Dr. Wily's Revenge, then Mega Man 2, 3, 4, 5. I don't know if there's a Mega Man 6 there. And each of those did something similar where it kind of combined Mega Man uh, NES games into each other. Um, and then we have Mega Man Extreme for the Game Boy Color and Mega Man Extreme 2 for the Game Boy Color. And I've never played any of those games. Um, so as I started collecting later in life, I got really excited to realize that there were a bunch of really good uh, Mega Man games that I've never played. Um, even though a lot of the bosses are, uh, are the same uh, as, or all the bosses are the same as in other games, it still is a totally unique experience, and you'll we'll see that here. Uh, let me explain what we should do. In order to put the past data back, we need to fix a data in the core of the mother computer. This is the core of the mother computer. Uh, what's up, Alfredo? Welcome. Good to see you guys here. Thanks for joining me. Uh, there's a lot of exposition. Okay, so this is interesting. So uh, this is a lot like the Mega Man Game Boy game that I recently picked up and played, uh, which was, I think, Mega Man 2, if I'm not mistaken, where it's, it looks like it's only going to give me the option to beat one of four bosses first, but the weight of the core is protected. Unless you clear the protection, you can't enter the core. The guardians of the protection is the boss data of the past. To break the protection, there is no other way but to go into the computer as a data form and then crush them all. Whoa, fuck. Zero, I'll do it. Okay, I'll let you handle this. I'll stay here and clean up all the mavericks who are committing crimes in the confusion. Don't forget that even though they are past data, they are still very strong. Be careful. Here we go. Cool. Yeah, it's a super long intro. It's pretty crazy. Still happening. And look at that awesome character. Man, Midi. Who is Midi? Hey, look up for me uh, Midi and see if Midi is in any other Mega Man games or if just Mega Man Extreme. Maybe Extreme 2. That probably makes sense. Um, but if he's in any other uh, places. Ready to transform, start the installation. This is super long, especially for a Game Boy game. Like, how much attention span do you need to have for a portable game? Okay, cool, save and continue. There we go. Yep. Oh, oops. Yes, I want to overwrite that. Okay, great, so these are, uh, so that's Chill Penguin. I don't can't tell. Are these all... No, this one's a Mega Man 2 character for sure. Mega Man X2. I don't remember the name of him, but it definitely was one that I played. I don't know about this one. But we'll do Chill Penguin first since it's at the top. We'll just see how it goes. Um, yeah, that's good. <laughs> I'm really excited to play this game with you guys. Okay, here we go. Let's see if it's slidey. No, not sliding at all. That was good. Good start. Let's see if we can keep it up. The slowdown is real with this. Oh shit, that was dumb. Any word on MIDI? Is MIDI in any other games? This is weird, like, it's got these strange transitionary, like, spots where you go in and out of stages. I wonder why that is. There's probably some weird programming reason, like, they can't fit one level all into one thing, you know, for the Game Boy game. Um, only Mega Man Extreme? Not even Mega Man Extreme 2, huh? That's pretty crazy. Well, am I about to get a power? Nice. This upgrade will also allow you to crush certain blocks. Midi has dead eyes. <laughs> he is a robot, so that's pretty cool. Wait, do I already have the dash? Oh, I do. I was thinking I had to get the dash, like the dash boots, but it looks like I've already got that. That's good to realize. Fuck you, bird. Tw 
twin brother of Tecmo, who was manipulated by Sigma? I don't know anything about Tecmo. What game is Tecmo from? What do you guys think about the audio for this? I mean, Mega Man and Mega Man X games generally have some of the best music of any of any NES games, in my opinion, and SNES games. But this definitely, I mean, I guess for a Game Boy game, it's pretty stellar. But it's definitely leaving something that I am not loving. Okay, so this is the same shit too. So basically, this is just a slightly worse version of, of Mega Man X games, right? Am I even hitting him? Now look at that awful flashing that's happening here. I don't think I'm hitting him. I'm gonna have to... It's weird. Oh, shit! That was really frustrating. I'm sorry that that happened here. We'll try again. Um, have either of you guys, uh, or anyone that hasn't chatted with me yet, ever played this game before? Or is this the first time you're seeing it? So Techno, I will meet later, presumably, then. That's weird. Why would I go back? Very Neo Geo, the music. Yeah, I agree. It's, I mean, it's fine. I wonder if there's any, like, let's see. Are there any cool options in the Super Game Boy that I should be using? Oh, I can change the color. I forgot about that. I kind of feel like the first one is still the best. Well, there's so many options. Right? That just feels like the original Game Boy, mostly. Yeah, we'll stick with that. What is this? Oh, I can change the frames. That's right. I don't like that. Uh, I'm going to stick with the Game Boy. That seems like the best way to go. I've already done that. I'm not going to paint any shit. Oh, whoops. No, no, no. I was hoping that I could adjust the music or something like that to make it slightly better. But that's alright. Oh, shit. Um, Alright, so we made it to a boss, looks like. We'll see how it goes. It's Chill Penguin. I honestly don't remember if they're, like if he has a specific pattern that I'm supposed to do. Power... Whoa, wait. You're talking about you've only played Power Battles and Battle Network on Game Boy, though, right? Like... Oh, yeah. So he just makes these fucking Chill Penguins, hence the name. And then... Oh, I guess I should probably charge. Okay, good. So I need to dash under that, good to realize. Sorry I'm not paying attention to the chat if you're saying anything. I'm actually trying to beat this boss here. Man, the graphics really are, like, they're fine looking, but the, uh, the, like, slowdown and, uh, flashing is terrible. But again, I guess, what do you expect out of a Game Boy game, right? Oh, shit. Okay. 
Jacob, you said you've only played Power Battles and Battle Network. That's obviously like the Game Boy variants of Mega Man. You've played other Mega Man games. I, like we've talked about that. I feel like. <laughs> That was a bad start. Mm. Oh, he's doing different shit than he did the last time. So, this is where I get to talk about do I, wait, save and continue or retry? I don't even... What's... Save and continue or retry? So obviously save and quit takes me back. To the title screen takes me back. Save and continue... I'm going to try save and continue, I guess. Oh, I guess this is that's the same as what retry would give me, though, right? It's all right. We'll, we'll give it another try. I think I can beat him. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, are there... I can't tell because I don't. I still am, have not figured out Twitch, even though I've actually looked it up now. Um, Mega Man Legends. Oh boy, that's the same. Mega Man Legends is the same as Mega Man 64, right? Or was that a different game? Um, oh, I was gonna ask. Is there a way for you guys to see how many people are watching? the stream at any time, because I don't think I've figured out a way to do that. Maybe I can. Let's see. Uh, I guess. I don't know. Is it just the two of you, or is there more? I wonder. Because um, I know that there's also people that have watched this, like, through different Apple TV apps that are not official Twitch apps, and so they can't chat with me. I'm just trying to figure out what that looks like. Um... Do I still have the better boots, I wonder? I do. That's cool. Wait, you... Hang on. You've, you're saying you've never played, like, Mega Man 2 for the NES or Mega Man X for the SNES? And also... My question still stands. Is Mega Man Legends the same as Mega Man 64? Or is that a different thing? Fuck! Oh, that was so close to really fucking it up. Glad I didn't. Sorry I'm not talking a ton. This game is difficult, and uh, I'm not good at video games, so I'm trying to do my best to... Can I blow up and destroy this? No. Oh, shit. That's cool. I wonder if I can get up. No. Oh, but I bet I could. I bet... Look at that. I don't know if it's necessarily a secret, but did the job. I sound judgy? Yeah, I mean, I'm just surprised that you haven't played those other games. Because uh, I feel like we've talked about them. Maybe it was just the music and you appreciate the music, but I'm just surprised, that's all. Do 
you think I'm doing more damage this way, or if I charged it, I wonder? See, clearly here I should be... Oh shit! I think it's going better if I attack him continuously instead of charging it, because he is, uh, he's, he like bounces back. See that? Oh shit! What's up, uh, is, um, is that, is that Asif, I assume? Hey Asif, it's good to see you. You've, uh, come in just in time to see me, uh, with my second attempt at this boss. Hopefully it goes better than the first. I think it will, it seems like. Unless I fuck it up. Yeah, actually, I'm. the music is growing on me now that uh, after I talked about how much I didn't like it initially. Fuck. Oh, God. Oh, you're saying the music of Mega Man uh, 2, etc. Yeah, Air Man has a great... Oh, shit. Awesome. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Hopefully we can... Oh, no. Oh, shit. I wish I had an energy tank. I do not. Oh, this is new. This is all new. Okay, he didn't do anything. Yeah. I think I've got to be more willing to use the walls also. That's probably part of my problem. Oh. I knew it. I knew it was happening as I was dying. Motherfuck. Uh, thanks for joining me, Asif. Uh, we got Jacob and uh, Alfredo here too. I think. At least they were here. Still not sure how to figure out who's watching and who's not, but uh, I'm glad that you're here. All of you that are. Um, this game is hard, but I guess not harder than most Mega Man games. Any of you watched me play Mega Man Extreme? Uh, or, I mean, sorry, not Mega Man Extreme. That's what we're seeing now. Mega Man X2. Uh, I died, like I've made it through levels just as easily, and uh, have died to the bosses just as much as I have here. So I guess it's no different, right? I'm gonna try this again. I think it's gonna go. Okay. That last one went pretty close. To, like I was super close to beating it. Welcome back, Alfredo. I don't know why you left in the first place, but, you know, that's cool. Fuck. Oh, that was close. That was really good. I impressed myself a little bit with that one. God, I hate these fucking... I bet I'm, I bet I'm doing something really not well. I bet there's something that I could be doing better. You know what I mean? But, whatever. Oh, that was good. Perfect timing. See? There we go.
that's the one that has gotten me the most so far. So I gotta keep an eye out for it. Alfredo, why is your name Mara in this Twitch world? Ah. This feels good, but I said that last time too. Oh. Ah, fuck! Hey, Taco B. I don't know who that is, but I'm glad. Oh, Taco Bell. Is that Jeremy? That'd be really funny. I like that name if it is. that you're here. I appreciate you joining my stream, watching me struggle with probably a game that's way easier than I make it out to be, um, but one that's a lot of fun already. Uh, I kind of am, I don't love playing a Game Boy game on, um, on the Super Game Boy. I'd much rather play it on a handheld. Not Jeremy, the other Jeremy. What the? What does that mean? I feel like Taco Bell's got to be Jeremy, but now I don't know. Here we go. This feels so done, but I don't want to. Yes, we did it. We did it. Yeah. Feels good. You'll message me on Instagram. Cool. Sounds good. Uh, I'm excited to have you here regardless of whoever the hell you are. I got the shotgun ice. And now, oh, this is who we were talking about earlier. This is Techno. I didn't expect the past data could be destroyed so easily. Huh. We would get into trouble if the computer protections are broken. Ah, all right. Well, welcome, Taco Bell. I'm glad you're here. I appreciate you coming to watch. Is this the first time that you've come to the to the to my channel? We need to make a move quickly. Gmail? Who the hell is this? And also, why would you say kick, kick, kick? Take it easy. Let's relax and see his action from here. God, these expositions are long in this game. Especially for a Mega Man game. You don't usually get this much story. You'll get hurt if you disvalue his power. Don't worry. I'll do it. Who are these? Are these from a Mega Man game that I'm not familiar with? I'll crush him for sure. I don't think they were in Mega Man X2. Gmail, don't fail us. Well. Oh yeah. Uh, so, for the couple of you that, that showed up a little bit later, this is the first time that I've played this game, period. Um, that's weird. How does it... Do you guys see somewhere that it's showing me that I've beaten the boss? Because I've obviously already beaten him. I don't see any place where it shows me that. Other than that I have the weapon. Huh. I feel like Chill Penguin might be good against the Fire Deer, whose name I can't remember. So I'm going to give that a try. Um, but yeah, this is the first time I'm playing this game. Uh... Also, I'm not very good at games, so it's going to be a lot of fun watching me die a few times in this. Uh... But I do remember very vividly this level now from Mega Man X2. Yeah, this beetle like has to destroy the rocks or whatever. I do remember. 
I want to see if I can uh, see if there's anything cool up here. Yeah, let's see. Oh. Hi. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna give up on that. Oh shit! How do I even? Um, so, uh, I've talked about this before, but uh, just in case you're not as aware, uh, any of you guys, uh, this is my, oh, fucking, fuck, hold on a second, this is, oh. So this show is a, is a show that I've got called Weekend Rental. Uh, it's always going to be a game that you guys voted on. For me to play and uh, I'm gonna just basically choose from a set of games that I already own and uh, that I've chosen randomly uh, with a random number generator uh, but all of them will be from the same console fuck oh no hey that was actually pretty great I got an extra heart uh, container and an extra life Fuck yeah. So, uh, for this one, I put up uh, Mega Man Extreme, which you're watching now, uh, against Side Pocket, which is a game that I played a ton as a kid and love. Like, absolutely love. Um, it's a pool, pool game. Uh, like, shooting pool, not... Uh, I don't know why you would think otherwise, but... Oh, shit. You have no chance of beating me. That might be true. He's got a fucking giant sword. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. How am I supposed to do this? Holy shit. That is not easy. Huh. Maybe I'll try using uh, the chill penguins weapon. See if I can beat him. Um, so you guys chose this game out of the out of side pocket, this and uh, Wave Race for the Game Boy. Um, and every week, um, I will. Uh, it's it's not quite going to be every week necessarily because there will be some weeks where I do play dates uh, multiple times a week. But at least uh, at the, at the a couple days after each weekend rental, I'm going to put up a, a set of games again that I've randomly selected with a random number generator that will give you guys a chance to vote again. So if you aren't already, oh shit, how do I, is the start button not working? Oh, it's select. It's select. So why is it select and not start? What does retry do? I tried save and continue last time. I wanna see what retry does. Got it, so it just makes it so I don't have to go back in. Is it start or select? It's select. Why is it select? It's always start in Mega Man games, but the start button does nothing. How frustrating. Anyway, um, so you guys chose Mega Man Extreme. I'm actually really happy about that. Um, uh, so we'll do that once a week or so. And then in addition to that, my, my other kind of standard uh, video and stream is going to be called Play Date where I've got one of you, uh, of my many friends who like to play video games, to come over. Or shoot, actually, people who don't like to play video games is also fun to watch. Um, and uh, I'll sit and play a game with somebody. If it's a one-player game like this, I, it is not out of the equation. Um, we'll take turns, or I will um, have that person take the reins most of the time, and uh, I'll just kind of commentate and and talk with them about the game and their history. Um, and then uh, coming up soon, I, I haven't quite got the date down yet, but uh, my first episode of my drinking game is going to be uh, coming out sometime in March, um, and that is called Drunky Kong Country, uh, where I will uh, sit with another person and still just play a game, but we're going to turn it into a drinking game. And uh, what are these? What is this? Oh, 
Okay. Oh, weird. Very weird. Okay. Exit that. What is this? Auto charge. Hold up. Or rapid fire? That's an interesting. Okay. And then that's just showing me what I have. Okay, cool. So we're going to put on the uh, ice beam here and see if that makes this a little easier to beat this guy. Because it seemed impossible, right? Oh, that was good. One more. Yes! That's awesome. I don't know why that's awesome. And I have basically no life left. But that's cool. Okay, so we're back to the X-Cluster. Um, so Drunky Kong Country is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it's going to start off with primarily... Oh, that's fucked up. Oh my gosh. Do I have to beat that guy again? Fuck. That really sucks. Is he still... Oh my gosh. I guess it'll be easier another time. Oh no, he's already beaten. Good. Um... So Donkey Kong Country is going to start off with primarily Donkey Kong Country style games, but uh, will not only be that. Um, but uh, I think Donkey Kong Country lends itself so well to being a drinking game because of the uh, difficulty level of the later levels of that game. So it'll start off being totally easy, um, but very quickly become something that is so freaking difficult. Um, and that's a lot of fun. I think it'll be a, a really good time, and then we'll we'll expand that out to other game titles and stuff as we as we go. Um, so that'll that'll start sometime in March, and then um, let's see. Is there anything that I'm forgetting? Any any shows? I think that's everything that I've got planned so far. Um, I do have an idea that I that I really like the thought of, um, where I'll get a one of my little cousins to come and play a uh, game like old games with me and kind of get his reactions. So, so like, you know, he's super familiar with the Switch and the Wii U um, and mobile device games uh, like Goat Simulator. He played a shit ton of, but. Um, but he hasn't really played, like, Super Mario Brothers, the first one. Uh, he hasn't played uh, the first Legend of Zelda. So those kind of things uh, are, like would be really interesting to kind of get the perspective of someone without the goggles of nostalgia that, that I and many others uh, my age have. Uh, let's see if this ice weapon is any good against this fucker. Okay, good start. It is not better than the X Buster. That is for sure. And I need to dash under him. I learned that in Mega Man X2. So it's clear that I'm not going to beat this boss the first try, but uh, we'll see how it goes the second try. Um, and I don't have a name for that that show yet, where the, where my little cousins can uh, come over and play some games, but I think that can be a lot of fun, too. Um, fuck, this game is hard. <laughs> Let's see if I can do any better this time around. Oh, I jumped instead of dash. The graphics of what haven't changed? 
of Mega Man just overall, you mean? Oh, fuck. That was a new move that I do not like. How do I do that? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> he just started doing moves that he hasn't been doing this whole time. What a fuck face. Oh, shit. Did you see that? He body slammed me. Oh, yeah, this is the exact same as Mega Man X2. So, Chill Penguin is from Mega Man X. This guy, whose name I, for some reason, am forgetting, even though I just saw it like 10 minutes ago, uh, is from Mega Man X2. And, yeah, it's exactly the same. All they did was transform it into a, a Game Boy game. Uh, okay. I'm kind of bummed that that did not go very well. The last time I went up and over, let's see. Oh shit, I wonder if I need to beat that fucker again. The guy with the big sword. Also, why did he... What, like, there's a mid-boss? Actually, that was true in Mega Man X2 also, but I still don't know what for. I haven't beaten that game yet since the last stream. Um, I'd like to, but it's really hard. Okay, so that's back to full. Yeah, I mean, Mega Man graphics haven't changed a ton ever, right? Like, Mega Man 1 and Mega Man 2 are pretty similar to one another. Um... And then all the way up through Mega Man 6, it's the same graphics, just, I mean, maybe minor tweaks and updates, but not much. And then Mega Man X, uh, not not too much has changed there, too. What's up, yeah, it's Jubes. Welcome. Uh, this is the second level that I'm attempting. I did beat Chill Penguin. It took me a couple tries, but um, here we are. And now uh, we're fighting the Flame Deer, whose name I can't remember. Uh, if you recall it or look it up put it in the chat for me please let's see if i have to beat this giant sword dude a second time nope okay so that sticks around that's good to, to realize um i'm glad i don't have to do that again because he was really difficult <clears throat> okay is this where the fucking fire squirrels are yeah see man these are i don't know how to I guess I could use the Chill Penguin weapon so I don't have to Ooh. fire directly at them, but this part of the level got way, uh, way reduced in this game versus Mega Man X2 also. If you recall, uh, that, that uh, path upward was super long comparatively. All right, here's the boss. Let's see what we can do. Maybe I should, like, when I'm playing a Mega Man game, be looking up the boss orders. Would you guys rather see me do it that way so it's easier for me to win, or is it more fun to watch me just fail miserably over and over again? I feel like it's probably more fun watching me just not be good, but... I will leave it up to you. If you feel like in the future I should be putting more effort into beating the games, then uh, I could do that instead. Oh, fuck. Am I supposed to not get hit by that? Oh. Motherfuck. This fucker is hard. God damn it. the end. 
God damn it. Sorry, guys. I'm trying. This guy gave me a lot of difficulty on Mega Man X2 also, huh? Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, so... I'm gonna try to beat this guy. And then after we are finished with him, we'll give... I'll start trying to talk a little bit more again. So I've definitely been talking a lot. What the hell? How is this a completely different pattern than we had before? It's frustrating. See, that's one of the things about Mega Man bosses that I've always loved. Like, the original Mega Man bosses, the patterns are the same every time. Like, you get what you get, you learn it, you get good, and that's that. But with these, I'm really struggling because they he, he's doing different shit. Sometimes he's dashing, sometimes he's not. I guess I'm getting better. It seems clear that that's happening at least, but it's still really tough. So, okay. Oh, motherfuck. Ah! No! I was so close! Sorry, I keep getting messages on my watch, and it makes me feel like maybe one of you guys is texting me to tell me something is not working right. But it's not that. It's just fucking messages. Okay, here we go. Last chance, right? I mean, not actually, but... Again, I appreciate you guys watching. I think it's a lot of fun to get a chance to play... Some of the video games that I want to play anyway, but have you guys uh, be able to join me for it. I hope you enjoy it. Also, I guess if you didn't, you wouldn't be here. Fuck, how do I dodge that shit? Damn it. So I do want to play Mega Man 64, Alfredo, but uh, I don't own it, and it's not a very cheap game, unfortunately. So uh, if I find a good, if, if I find it for a good price, I. If I find it for a good price, I'll play it for sure, um, but not until I have it, and unless someone wants to play it with me um, and request it to be on one of my play dates, then it's just up to the, the uh, random number generator uh, for, my, for it to show up once I do have it. Um, I am not going to repeat games unless there's some request to do that, and I know in the stream that I had with... Uh, with Daniel and Asif, I talked a little bit about um, how it might make sense for me to do some games like multiple times to, like especially adventure type games where you really don't get a sense of the full game without playing through the entire thing. So things like an Ocarina of Time or any Zelda game for that matter. Um, those are going to be some interesting things. Who's my next guest? That's a great question. I should look that up. I, uh, I was thinking about figuring out a way to post up a uh, schedule somewhere, but uh, I haven't done that yet, but I can look it up here. Let's see, I've got, what do I have here? My next scheduled guest is going to be with Tim. You guys might know Tim. Uh, I actually I think, uh, well, no, some of you know Tim. He's somebody that I work with. And he's going to be coming over, and we're going to be playing one of two games. We haven't decided yet, um, and I, I might put it up for a vote. Um, so keep an eye out for that on my uh, Instagram and Twitter pages and Facebook page. Um, but we're either going to be playing Turtles in Time or Sunset Riders. Uh, and I know, Jacob, if you're still watching, those are two games that we've talked about playing a lot. Um, I was really bummed to find out that 
Um, both of those games, which are based off of uh, arcade games that were awesome, like four player multiplayer games, they're not four player, even though uh, the multi tap exists for the Super Nintendo. Uh, so that kind of bums me out because I have a multi tap. Um, so, like games like uh, NBA Jam Tournament Edition and uh, what else? Um, Bomberman 2, Super Bomberman 2. Those are four player games that I, I can play, but for some reason, Sunset Riders and uh, Turtles in Time are not. They are only up to two players. Um, and I think it has to do with the, um, the just the, the processing power of the Super Nintendo. I don't think it's able to handle that. But uh, it's still a bummer, you know, because those, those would, would have been really fun games to get a lot of people to come and play. Oh, shit. Fuck, man. I don't think I can... Well, okay. I was going to say, I don't think I can beat the boss with just one life, but I guess if I can beat it at all, it doesn't matter how many lives I have. That really sucks. What a fucking awful way to lose a life. Yeah, I know. The, they're a couple of my favorite arcade games, so I'm excited. I've never... Let's see. I have Turtles in Time for the Super Nintendo, but I've never had... Uh, I've never owned Sunset Riders. I did buy it once, but the fucker never sent it to me. I got a refund and everything, but still was kind of annoyed about it. All right, Alfredo, you want me to concentrate? I'm going to do that. I'm going to not talk much once I get up to this boss here. And uh, that will hopefully not make you guys miserable. But it would be nice to actually beat this level, right? I appreciate that, Alfredo. I want to win also. Okay, here we go. Do you guys think I can do it this time? Give me a hell yes if you think I can win, or a hell nah if you think I'm going to die again. figure out how to stop that. No. Okay, here we go. I appreciate that. Oh, fuck. Okay. It's I just don't know how to do it. Fuck. You believed in me. It didn't happen. But I think I can do it. I think I can do it this time. I didn't have full life uh, the last one. I think I, I think I can do it here. I got him. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. figure out how to do that. Fuck. Did somebody just text me just to distract me? Because it worked. Oh no! That's fucked up. Uh. I 
after he throws the second ball, just jump onto the wall in case he rushes me. But then I can't shoot him. I guess that's probably wise though, right? Who cares if he... Like, I don't need to shoot him, I just need to dodge his. <sighs> I want to try again. I, re I feel like I can do this, and the level's easy enough that I can get to it, as long as I don't fuck up that one... Uh, that one section with the lava. As long as I don't fuck that up, I'm okay. I think there's something up there. See, but the thing is, if he does dash, he also jumps up, so I can't shoot him if I'm sliding down the wall. But I get what you're saying. I'll, I'll definitely give it a try. Okay. So I just I need to not die here. It's very important. <gasps> no! Fuck. 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 God. I literally... signed up for when you came to my stream, me being awful. Yeah, I know. Look, I fucking, how come I can't just do that every time? Man, I wish there was a way to make it so the chat had no lag whatsoever, but I guess the magic of the internet is only so strong, you know? <sighs> These fucking squirrels. Why don't they ever drop light? They always drop that fucking shitty... I don't need. You know what I just realized? I got that energy tank, that, but I haven't... Where did it go? How do I use it? Did it just give me more life points, I guess? Maybe that's... That's probably what it is. Right? Like that heart tank that I got uh, when I was climbing up the lava the very first time. Is that just... Did it give me more life? All right, here we go. I'm not even gonna look at the chat. I'm gonna try to beat this guy for real. Here we go. Fuck, see, if I jump up the wall, he's just gonna get me. I can't do it that way. I have to figure out how to jump over the dash. There's gotta be a way. Oh shit, he's so fucking close to me. This is not not going well, <laughs> that's for sure. Motherfucker. <sighs> uh, only a couple of you are in the chat, but it looks like I've got somewhere between six six and ten viewers or something like that I think so to those that I haven't said hello to because you're not in the chat thanks for watching um, I'm not sure how long you've been watching so I'll just repeat this is mama's basement TV which obviously you know if you aren't already follow me on Instagram Twitter Facebook um, YouTube is where I'll archive all the videos that I have up here 
and uh, this show is called Weekend Rental, where I play a game by myself, usually. Um, and it's a game that you guys got a chance to vote on. I'm going to stop talking and try to focus here. Oh shit, I went to the wrong side. Fuck, okay, that's okay though. Motherfuck. How is he doing this all already? Like, in the other attempts, he was not doing that yet. It's really frustrating. Ah, I did it! Okay. So it's doable. I can... Okay. It's doable to dodge the dash. Fuck you, man. Yeah, fuck Fire Bambi. That is certain. I feel that way too. Maybe that's what I need to do. I need to jump over him. So that he's looking the wrong way. That's interesting, right? Oh, fuck! No! Ah. Okay. I'm gonna keep going with this level. I I can't stop. I have to beat this level. I'm sorry if this is boring for you at this point since it's the same shit over and over, but it's I've gotta do it. So now you're watching me play games like I do at home, like by myself. Uh, I'm not good at them. I lose a lot. Uh, this might actually be a point where if I was by myself, I would probably pause it or turn it off for a little bit. And, oh, fuck me. Good start. Good start. Uh, I'd probably pause it, turn it off uh, for a little bit, just because I'm frustrated. But I would continue to come back to the same level because I know that I can beat it. Like, it's, it's not that hard. I just need to time the jumps right. I'm going to stop talking while I do this lava piece. Oh no! Oh! God damn it! <laughs> I fucking hate this shit. I hate it. <sighs> okay, it's fine. We're fine. It's fine. Once I get a uh, a switcher to make it so I can just quickly press a button. Uh, to switch scenes in in my uh, my video app, I'm gonna have to get the it's fine dog that I can just flash on screen. All right, here we go. It's interesting. There aren't that many enemies in this level, huh? It's mostly it's pretty much just those squirrels, right? Pretty crazy. And the guy with the sword who I beat already. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, the lava did get me again. It's hard, man. I just gotta get good, I guess. <laughs> That's what the internet always says. Whoa, what was that? Did you see that? He just exploded on himself. That was weird. the squirrels kill each other or something? Also, was there anything back here? No. Alright, here's the boss. The good news is, getting to the boss is relatively quick, as long as I don't die in the lava, which I did, but... Okay. Here we go. Before I get in there, I just want to show you guys this. I know somebody mentioned it on stream a little while ago. Let me switch over. This is a Link figure. It's really big. Uh, it's uh, supposed to be the Skyward Sword Link. 
And my brother found this at uh, Goodwill for $2. I was pretty excited about that. Uh, he always is going to Goodwill to find shit and sell it on eBay. Um, or give it to me in certain cases. Uh, so if any of you ever uh, see like the, the sword and shield that's available or that came with that guy, I would love for you to, to send that my way. Um, okay, here we go. That was a good little reprieve. Get my mind off this horrible boss. No pun intended, because uh, that movie is pretty good, actually. Now that I think about it. Horrible bosses. Time to focus. dashing so much all of a sudden. starting with that now. It's not fair. Maybe it's fair. Maybe I'm just a little baby. What the fuck, man? This is fucked up. Why is this pattern different? I don't, I can't believe this is, I haven't beat, beaten this guy yet. How long have I been doing this? Just this guy. Oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> Interception. Fuck you. But it is what happened. Okay, here we go. Fuck you. No! God damn it! No. 
Uh, look how fucking close I am! Uh, it's really been an hour of me just trying to beat this one boss. I beat fucking Chill Penguin in... No, that means I beat Chill Penguin in 15 minutes. And I've been on this guy for an hour. That can't be true. <sighs> this is embarrassing, to be honest with you. The fucking... It's awful. Well, I'm gonna try to get to the boss again really quickly. Hopefully this time I won't die in the lava so I have plenty of lives. Fuck, man. Oh no, oh no. Oh. since we've had some uh, story expedition at least right what was i trying to talk about briefly and then uh ended up going to the boss i don't remember i'm getting better at handling these squirrels that's good <laughs> i guess it's good I just want to beat the boss, fuck. Would it make sense for me to use this? I don't think so. I don't think so. Because it just splits apart after it bounces off the wall, but who cares? Because he's so high, it's not going to hit him still. Oh, you motherfucker, dashing right off the bat. But bouncing off the walls isn't going to make a difference, Alfredo. I mean, I'm not going to win this round, obviously. Because I don't want to do, like, little bits of damage. I'm taking advantage of the time that he's fucking flying around by charging up, you know? Oh, that was almost a disaster. I just really need to figure out how to dodge the dash every time. That's... Oh, motherfucker! Change his pattern again. See, that's what it, like, I can't, you, I don't think you can charge up the ice. I'll give it a try really quick before I go in. Let's see. So if I choose this, no, you cannot charge the ice. And again, I think the angle is not going to help. I think, I'm going to beat him. I'm just going to beat him right now. Fuck it. I mean, I'm just gonna do it. Easy. I'm gonna dodge those dashes. <laughs> I'm not gonna get hit for stupid reasons like that. Oh, come on! I can't win if I'm gonna fucking fuck that up.
Oh no, not the throw! Oh, the throw. I had him. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Hey, how are the sound levels? Because that's all I've got going for me at this point is the stream and not the video game itself because I fucking suck at this. Holy shit. How do you like my pajama bottoms? What do you think about my high five for science fucking sweater? God damn it. No, why is he dashing right off the fucking bat? It's bullshit. That's what it is. accidentally press something fucking stupid. No. Oh. oh god. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. No. Oh yeah, I forgot about Spark Mandrel from Mega Man X. That's who it is. Fuck man. Okay, let's uh okay good, I can exit. to exit. I want to continue that goddamn level. I didn't mean to do that. I really want to... How do I exit? It's not letting me do it. Okay. Well, I'm just going to die, I guess. Is there a... I want to beat that fucking deer. Only have a half hour left. I've beaten one level. This is fucking. I guess it's a lot like my Mega Man X2 run, right? These are the reasons. This, this right here, not this, but my frustrations and difficulties with Mega Man X Dream and previously Mega Man X2. It really, I, you know, it's very clear that I'm not good at video games, no matter what any of you say. A lot of you have said that I am actually quite good. I'm not. I'm maybe average. Maybe? And I mean, a game, like, I'm, I've never played Mega Man Extreme before, but Mega Man is a game that I love. Yeah, I know. I Like, yeah, you could do it in a specific order. Should I look up the order? I guess I could do that. But I just really feel like I can, uh, feel like I can beat that guy. I was so close so many times, you know? There we go. Back to the deer. Ugh, oh, fuck. Flame stag. No, no, no. I'm gonna beat the deer with just my fucking X, X Buster. 
because I can do it. It seems like you don't believe in me anymore, which is very reasonable, because it's clear that I suck. But I think I can do it. I'm going to do it. I'm sorry that this is the same shit over and over again, but I'm, I can't not do this anymore. Fuck. Oh no. Chester, I was actually just talking about you. Chester Goldrush is the person that I'm going to be playing Sunset Riders and or uh, Turtles in Time with, so welcome to the chat room. Uh, yeah, Mega Man Extreme is a mixture of Mega Man X and X2. Um, so right now this uh, Flame Stag is for Mega Man X2. Uh, earlier I played and beat successfully, I think on the first try, uh, Chill Penguin. Who I thought might have been a level that, or like a, a weapon that would have been good against Flame Stag. I was wrong. So uh, I beat Chill Penguin, and I've been playing this level probably for about an hour, I want to say. And uh, that's where we're at. I've been trying to beat Flame Stag. The level's easy, other than this one lava part, but I, as long as I get through that with my full lives, I'm good. But fucking Flame Stag is really. A struggle, and I don't. I think if you were watching my Mega Man X2 stream, um, it was the same shit. I could not beat goddamn Flame Stag, and I am here, and I'm gonna do it, and I don't care what anyone says about it, because it's gonna happen. Maybe not this time, because I didn't have full life, but I feel pretty good about it. <sighs> That's the thing. I don't know how to fucking dodge that every time. Okay. Yeah, so clearly this is not going to be the one where I win. Go Flame Stag! Wait a minute, you're now you're cheering on. I guess he's the he's the sure bet. What the fuck? All right, but that's okay. I knew I wasn't going to win that time. I did not have full life going in. I need full life. I need it very clearly. Here we go. I'm not going to pay attention to the chat for a moment, again. I get that. Oh, what the fuck, man. No, fuck. two little 
couple bars left of life. Oh god. I really felt like that was the one. He threw me twice in a row. He did the throw twice in a row. Ah, <sighs> oh, fuck. This is so demoralizing. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Fucking dash right away! Come on, man! <laughs> this is so bad! Oh, what a fucking frustrating experience this has been. I'm glad that you've been here to watch it all. <laughs> I bet it's fun to see me lose my composure about this shit, too, huh? But I don't do that very often. Oh, I knew he was gonna dash, but it's a throw. That's bullshit. God, fuck. It's absolutely horrible. Alfredo. Is there like an extra life somewhere back here or something? That would be pretty helpful. God, I was so close. Right? I was so close. Like disgustingly close. Spat out your drink? Well, I'm glad I could do that for you, I guess. Hopefully not on your computer or phone, wherever you are. Now you're fucking cheering on the squirrels? I feel like you have your priorities confused. Or maybe not. Okay, so I just made it through the level without getting touched once. So this time I have a full three attempts. Full three attempts to be able to do this shit. I'm gonna do it. Let me, I'm gonna take a second, I'm gonna look at a thing on the computer. Who do we got? 0 for 49, yeah, it feels like I'm 0 for 49. Man, I've lost a lot of viewers because I've been stuck here. Uh, but thanks Alfredo for sticking it out and Tim for joining in. I just wanna beat it. I just, I want to beat this fucking level before midnight. Actually, I want to beat it now. I'm going to beat it now. Here we go. Motherfuck. 
Oh, that's a rare thing for him to do. Oh, there's flames behind him too. Come on, man. This all just is... This is all bullshit. That's all there is to it. Fuck. Come on. one left and it hit him and it didn't do it. I don't... I don't understand. I fucking did it. Alright. I guess I didn't do it. some sort of like telegraphing uh, animation that I don't know. You know? I feel like that's a pretty common thing in video games like this. Okay, come on, man. That's fucked up. No! I can't give 
stop. I can't. I'm so fucking close. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I fucking, I am totally headed toward the dark side if I keep this up. Jesus. I can't even get up here right now. Okay, here we go. You're talking about the helmet in the lava tube? I don't think I can get it. not really an easy get. <sighs> Man, I was so close to killing him twice that last time. Here we go. This might be the last attempt. <clears throat> Oh, come on. Yeah, I guess if I if I can't, here's what I'll do. I'm gonna try this twice, and then on my last life, I'll try uh, ice to see if it changes anything. God damn it! That was really dumb of me. Oh, I'm literally just jumping into him now. Why can't he just go easy on me once? <laughs> uh, okay. Like, I'm definitely getting better at fighting him. There's, like, it's obvious that that's happening, right? But, like, maybe if I had full life there, I could have gotten it. You want me to try using ice? I just don't, because it doesn't shoot as fast. Like, I can't, I don't. I'll try it. I'll try it. See what happens. See, it's just not doing anything. And it doesn't hit him. Oh, it does. On the walls. This is not. See, it's not doing enough damage, though. It's not enough. The X Buster is definitely better. Fuck the ice run. Yeah, well, it's too late for that. You told me to do the ice, so I did the ice. We're going back to normal. And this is the one. This is the one. I, I believe that I can do this. I believe that you believe that I can do this. If I don't beat this guy right now... No, I'm going to try one more. So, we've got this one. If I beat him, I'm going to do the next level. 
and I'll play through that till the boss and maybe try the boss a couple times. If I lose at this, I'm gonna try one more set and that'll be that. We'll see, we'll see what happens. But basically a couple, oh, you lost confidence? Okay, here we go, focusing. Fucking threw me twice. this for the first time. I'm sorry. This is a shitty first stream. For those of you who have watched many of my streams, this is actually probably pretty great, because it's hilarious. But fuck, man. sword guy in here and I beat him. That was cool. Felt pretty good. It doesn't feel great now, but it did at the time. Oh, you motherfuck. What a piece of shit. Oh no, that was so stupid.
Oh. Oh no. If I don't beat it tonight, will I try on Steam on stream again? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. I guess it's up to you guys if you want me to play again. I'll uh, I'll throw it up on Instagram or something. What? The dash right away? Oh, fuck you. Oh my god. <laughs> my spirit has been broken. There's no question. What if I just... Oh. Okay. Alright. Can't even get out of there. <sighs> Motherfucker. I hate this fucking boss. Last try, guys. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Uh, I, I might play this again another time. Maybe I'll, I'll practice or I'll look it up. What's up, Phil? Good to see you. Uh, I'm not sure if you've been watching, but this is a this is pretty frustrating. Um, I've literally been trying to beat the flame stack for about an hour and a half. Uh, I've got the level down. I can do that pretty much, pretty close to without any issue. But yeah, we're getting close to the end of the stream. Uh, for those of you who showed up, thank you. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you missed this and want to watch me just continuously fail to beat the flame stag and really get frustrated, go to youtube.com and uh, search for Mom's Basement TV. Um, is that a... Is that a link to see uh, how to beat Flamestag? Let's see. Oh, no. Oh, don't give up. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to... This is the last life. I'm going to see if we can beat him. I really hope I do. If I do, more likely than not, I will try to play this game again and keep going. If I don't, we'll see. I don't know. I mean, I'm. don't get me wrong. I love... This game, it's actually really good. Mega Man Extreme is pretty outstanding, uh, especially for a for a Game Boy game. But I might just take it uh, and play it in like my Game Boy uh, Color or something like that instead of on stream, um, because it's gotta suck for you guys to watch me just continuously lose at the same thing. But uh, I'll give it a try. So anyway, you can go to YouTube.com, search for Mom's Basement TV there, find it. Um, and I'll leave it on Twitch archive for a few days as well, so you'll be able to see it in any place that you like. Um, thanks for watching. We'll see how this goes. I hope, I really so badly hope that I beat this fucker. You don't even, oh god. Okay, here we go.
You motherfuck. It's not looking good, guys. That was literally, that was me. That was my fault. That was not anybody's fault but mine. Ah. Well, that's Mom's Basement TV. Uh, I've claimed many times that I'm not good at video games, and here's yet another example of that. I hope you've had fun watching me be frustrated and fail over and over again. Um, thanks for watching. Come back to the basement anytime.